Hi, Chef Hyken here, customer service and experience expert, and today I'm going to explain why you should always serve your customers with grace and appreciation. If you follow my work, you know that I believe that customers should be treated with dignity and respect, even when they're wrong. And yes, they can be wrong. But what about when the customer is right and you're wrong? Or when they have a simple request? When it comes to giving in to a customer, make sure you do it in a graceful manner. My assistant shared a story with me recently in which her friend received an invoice via email and noticed it had the wrong physical address, his physical address. So he contacted the company to inform them of the correct address. The response from the customer service rep was surprising to this guy. Less than friendly, the rep was short and made the customer feel as, as if she was doing him a huge favor. Now, apparently, he could have gone on the company's website and changed it himself. In a cynical tone, this woman informed the customer that as a courtesy to him, she would update his account, but the next time, use the website. Now, basically, she was saying, next time, don't bother her. Doesn't this rep realize that she is dealing with a customer, someone that not only helps keep the company profitable, but ultimately is paying her salary? Well, apparently not. She made him feel as if she gave in to his very reasonable request. It wasn't like he was asking for much, if anything at all. He thought he was doing the company a favor by letting them know what the correct address was. Another example that might make more sense happened one day when I tried to park my car in a public parking lot. As I attempted to pull into the lot, the attendant informed me that the lot was full. Now, I had seen several open spaces as I was passing by the lot and shared that information with the attendant. Apparently, that parking attendant didn't believe me, so I actually stepped out of the car and walked him over to the empty spaces. At that point, a customer-focused employee might have said something like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was an open spot. Thanks for letting me know. But instead, in an exasperated attitude, he let me in. He made me feel that he'd done me a huge favor by letting me in. And all I wanted to do was pay him and his company for the apparent privilege of parking my car in an empty space on his lot. Now, if you're going to do a favor for a customer or give in to a reasonable or even special request, do so graciously. Don't make the customer feel as, as if you're doing him or her a huge favor. The reality is you aren't doing the customer a courtesy. No, the customer is doing you a favor by spending his or her hard-earned money with you instead of the competition. In just about every situation, whether the customer is asking for something special or just doing business with you as usual, serve with grace and appreciation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs as well as over 350 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.